As you guys can see, I have been pulled over and issued a state ref. Well, I'm f Damn. Uh. Well guys, it happened. Basically, it was on my way back from Target because I was picking up some supplies to do a video that I'm probably still going to do, but I was driving back from Target and a cop pulled behind me and so right off the bat, I was like, all right, he's gonna pull me over for something. So I just pulled in the Chevron parking lot that I had down my street just to like get him off me and he pulled in, put his lights on, instantly turned the car off so he didn't hear it or smell it. He walked up to the car, asked for my license, asked for my registration. He did not explain to me why he pulled me over yet. So he's back there for probably like five, 10 minutes. Another cop pulled up and this cop was a cop that had already pulled me over for no front plate. So I figured he was just gonna pull me over for no front plate. He walked up to the car and was like, um, has the other officer explained why you've been pulled over? And I said no. And he basically said that my car was too loud and he thought that I was catless. So when he, I guess he saw me a couple days ago and said he was gonna pull me over but he had another call he had to go to so he didn't pull me over. But he had assumptions that my car was callous and he basically told me to get out of the car pop the hood stand off to the side and so I did so he basically saw that I had an intake I had no exempt sticker on it and wrote me up for that he doesn't he didn't think I had cats but he had no way to prove it because he didn't he, you can't see it from under the car and since I have stock headers um you can't really see the cats unless you're under the car so he saw I had stock headers, he still thinks I'm callous, but he wrote me up for the intake, so I got, um, I mean, I got a ticket, as you guys can see, right on the back, it says, you guys, it won't be able to focus, but it says CA exempt, so, I'm sorry, it says state ref, no officer sign off, so I have to go and get it, um, I have to go get it, state ref, um, basically, the appointments are backed up. I have to call, I'm gonna call here in a minute just to make an appointment, but I have to go and get um, my cats put back on. The intake I can do myself, I can reflash the car so that it's back to a stock map, but in terms of um, getting the car with the cats back on, that's gonna be pretty difficult because the way we hacked it up, it's pretty gnarly. So, I just didn't think it happened this early, you know? I was pretty confident that I'd be able to just cruise around and the car's not incredibly loud, but I was convinced that I would have a little bit longer. I've only had the cats off for like, at most three months. I don't know, I'm bugging right now. I, uh, the whole time I was shaking, my heart was pounding just because I knew I was gonna get state reft. I knew what they were there for. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I have to go to court, I don't really know. Honestly, it's so much, it's just a headache. It's a headache at this point. Oh, I'm stressing right now. Honestly, if any of you guys have been state refs, can you comment down below and let me know what to do? Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be different in every state. So if you're in California, let me know what you guys did. I'm going to call up a homie who was state ref for his intake because this is... This is bad. This is bad. I'm pretty sure you can just pay it and then if you get pulled over again, you're kind of screwed, but... Either way, he wrote me up the ticket, handed it to me. I mean, honestly, the cop was cool about it. He wasn't, like, trying to force anything out of me saying that I had no cats or whatever, but, I mean, he knew already, so. <sighs> I need to do some research, figure out what I got to do with this guy. Um, I'm pretty sure the ticket's, like, $1,000, so I'm probably not going to be paying. If I have to make an appearance in court, I'm probably just going to try to get it back to stock as quick as possible, and then, obviously, make my appearance, and then just go on with life from there I guess. I know this is a short video but I had to get it out there for you guys. I was gonna shoot another video today um, and that's obviously where I was on my way from was getting the supplies to do the video but I'm in a pretty shitty mood now and I mean I just gotta get this handled I guess. So sorry for the uh, the low energy and the negative vibes but this is definitely something that's not happy so I'm pretty bummed out on it, um, 
like I said, if you guys know what to do, comment down below. If you guys are in California and have been state refed, um, I'm really trying to make it not as big of a deal as it is. So, <sighs> I mean, this happened, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm filming this. It happened probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes ago because it was literally right down the street. And when I got home, parked the car in the garage and I came in here and I just started filming. So I'm still like, it's still just, you know, coming together right now and I'm fucking so bummed out. I don't know what to do, so we'll see. I'll let you guys know. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. This is on a Wednesday, pretty shitty Wednesday to be honest, but it was going to happen sooner or later, I guess. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to go check out my Instagram at jordan.d.harris. Hit the subscribe button because honestly there's going to be a lot of random content coming up because I don't know if I'm going to keep it stock or go back. I'm not really sure. So just be sure to subscribe. Check out the more videos that are coming out for you guys. Like this video. Share this video because this is a sad moment for Jordan Harris. But yep, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.